Hi, this is Shadi and today I want to talk about judo hands. You see these bulging fingers, you see everyone uses them as a pride stamp, much like cauliflower ears, but today I want to talk about the medical reasons why this stuff happens and uh, me myself as someone who trains gi jiu jitsu and judo, I am very well interested in this topic because my hands myself are starting to bulge a little bit so i went in and i did the research for what happens and why this phenomenon occurs so the reason why um you know your fingers bulge uh, it's not because of uh, like an injury or uh, a form of pressure or something yes you do have like snapped fingers uh, some fingers that bend uh, etc but i'm talking about the bulges in the knuckles or the joints in the fingers that are you know flared up or inflamed so this is actually an inflammation it's called bursitis you can see for example people who have pointy elbows um, it's actually uh, a fluid so what is bursitis actually bursitis is like a painful condition that affects the small fluid filled sacs called bursa uh, that uh, cushions the bones tendons and muscles near your joints and bursitis occurs when the bursa becomes inflamed. So the sac that has water in it uh, um, protects the joints, etc., uh, becomes inflamed and holds far more water. So because there's constant stress of you holding the gi, gripping it and using the death grip, uh, the bursa feels like it needs not only inflames, but it needs uh, to fill up more water in order to protect due to this constant stress. And uh, if we know anything about our bodies is that whatever they do is a reaction in order to adapt so that's why you get tough uh, fingers and uh, very strong in order to grip more so it's kind of like an injury slash adaptation in order to protect you from this constant reoccurring stress your body doesn't know you're going to jiu-jitsu obviously but uh, it senses the stress of your fingers uh, you know gripping too much gi using death grip now how to do and how to deal with this so obviously to deal with them the obvious uh, precaution is to tape your fingers and uh, taping your fingers will do several things the first one is minimizes the stress on your fingers from the gripping strength and uh, the constant gripping stress on your fingers and two restricts blood flow therefore you know restricting the inflammation and this is a uh, bursa or the bursa sac that's filled obviously with time passes etc uh, the water will dry up and it will calcifies and you will have this bump as a constant uh, constant stamp of you know gripping history much like cauliflower ears when uh, the cartilage uh, becomes damaged and you know it fills up with water and blood and it dries up it becomes calcified and that's why become they become so tough uh, and really hard ears and it's just cauliflower is another thing but uh, mainly about the fingers it's because of the constant stress from gripping uh, the bursa or the sack of water between your joints becomes inflamed and it holds far more water and during time it becomes calcified and it dries up so Obviously, taping them really helps and also massaging them after each uh, class if you feel there's constant pain in them and using uh, a wristband, uh, wrap it around your fingers and open and close your fingers to really help relieve the water and uh, the blood in your fingers because not also not only they will be swelled up they will also be red so you would know that uh, there is constant fluid and tension in them even though you are not in class and you are not gripping so there's also stuff like massaging them with oils but really uh, massaging them with your own hands your own fingers really helps because to liberate the fluids and also you know change the blood and have the blood flow really coming and going so it relieves the inflammation and also taking anti-inflammatory and uh, I'm not gonna market CBD oil because at this point it has become you know like a joke so anything that's anti-inflammatory such as uh, you know vitamin C quality nutrition 
uh, taking anti-inflammatory pills, you know, but don't get too addicted to them. They're not uh, the end-all be-all to your uh, problem. Uh, and that's it. And mainly, you know, icing your fingers, massaging them with hot oils. There's a lot of things you can do. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a physician, but uh, these are some of the basics you can do. Obviously, taping your fingers before going on the mat will really help alleviate those symptoms. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, they're not that bad, actually. Uh, obviously, if they, like, swell up to the point, like Paolo Miao, obviously, that's that looks really nasty, and some people just don't tolerate that stuff. But uh, if you use them as a pride stamp, you know, that's on you. Much like people who prefer cauliflower ears, and some even give themselves cauliflower ears. But uh, that's another uh, topic for another video. So... Mainly, it's uh, bursitis. It's an inflammation of the water sac called bursa between your joints that's used as a cushion, specifically for small joints like fingers, elbows, etc. Uh, it holds far more water as an adaptation to the stress on your joints and it calcifies and it dries up, and hence you have the judo, jiu jitsu fingers. This was a short video about this uh, information or this phenomenon that occurs with gi grapplers. Uh, just wanted to shed some light on it. This was Shady and thank you for listening.